Microsoft Teams is a powerful virtual collaboration tool which allows users to meet with, chat, and call other users in the organization. This tool is available to all Dalton State students, faculty, and staff free of charge with our Office 365 license. In this guide, we will cover ways to access Microsoft Teams, how to send and receive calls, chat with other users, and schedule, initialize, and record meetings and live events with both internal and external users. To begin, log in to your Dalton State One Login account at daltonstate.onelogin.com slash portal. Once logged in, you will notice a few tiles under the search bar. Click on the tile labeled Office 365. The Office 365 landing page should load, displaying a number of tiles including Office products such as Outlook, OneDrive, and Word. Click on the tile labeled Teams. A screen should load, optionally allowing you to install the Windows app or use the web app instead for Teams. For now, simply click Use the web app instead. We will install the desktop application later. Once loaded, you will notice the navigation bar on the left. This is where you will see notifications about your recent activity, chats, Teams meetings, files, and apps. The Activity tab will show you recent meeting invites, messages mentioning you in chat, and reactions to your messages. Clicking on these will allow you to navigate directly to the message. The Chat tab shows you all of your currently open chat windows. You can click on each one to open them. Additionally, each chat has an ellipsis to the right of the chat name, which provides you with a variety of convenient options, such as pinning a chat to the top for convenience, having the app notify you when a user is available, or hiding chats you are no longer participating in. The Teams tab shows all team sites that you have created or joined. The Calendar tab displays your Teams meetings and allows you to meet immediately, schedule Teams meetings, or schedule live events. The Calls tab allows you to review your call history, contacts, and voicemail. The Files tab shows each file that you have uploaded or downloaded in chat. You can also access your OneDrive from here. The Help tab allows you to review Microsoft's training documentation on Teams, as well as suggest features, report issues, ask for help from the community, or give feedback. Teams is always updating with new features, which you can review from the Help tab. Finally, at the bottom of the navigation bar, you will notice a download icon. If you would like Teams to be installed to your computer, click on this, then save and run the installer. Teams will then be installed to your computer. Keep in mind that you may need to sign in again using your Dalton State credentials. Now that Teams is installed, we can begin navigating all that the app has to offer. Be aware that the browser version of Teams does have similar functions to the desktop application, but may be limited depending on which browser you're currently using. Sending messages to teammates is made simple with the Microsoft Teams chat window. To send a message, simply type the message in the text box at the bottom of a chat window and send using the Enter key or the paper airplane icon. You can also conveniently format your text before sending by clicking the formatting icon, which appears as an A with a paintbrush. To change the urgency of the message, click on the exclamation mark to mark as important or urgent. To attach a file to the message, simply click on the paper clip and attach the file, then hit the Enter key or paper airplane icon when you're ready to send. To customize your message with emojis, click on the smiling face icon. You can also send animated graphics and stickers to add a personal or humorous touch to your messages. If you would like to create a group chat, simply click the person icon in the top right of the chat window and enter the name or Dalton State email address of the individual you would like to add to a group. To place a call, simply click the video call or audio call buttons in the upper right. If you're using the browser version, the web page will ask for access to your microphone and webcam, which you must allow. Once in the call, you can enable and disable your microphone and webcam with the buttons at the bottom. You can additionally share your screen, but please be mindful of any sensitive documents or information on the screen and only share what is needed to collaborate. To access the chat while in a call, simply click on the speech bubble icon to the right of the ellipses. To see participants in a call, click on the person icon to the left of the end call button. Here you can invite additional participants to join the call. To hang up, simply click the red receiver button. 
You will know if you are receiving an inbound call by the notification which pops up in the lower right of your screen. From there, you can answer the call with video or audio only, or forward them to voicemail with the end call button. To configure your team's voicemail greeting, simply click on your profile picture in the far upper right of the screen, select settings, select calls, then configure voicemail. This is also where you can specify your call answering rules and ringtones for teams. Voicemails will be sent to your Dalton State email and can be reviewed on the Calls tab under Voicemail. As you can see, Microsoft Teams offers numerous tools to make engagement with colleagues meaningful and efficient. Now that you know how to send and receive calls and messages, you're ready to schedule a Teams virtual meeting. Begin by selecting the Calendar tab on the navigation bar, then the New Meeting button in the upper right. You will then add a fitting title to the meeting, Invite attendees by typing their Dalton State email address or a personal email address into the Add Required Attendees field. If you are inviting an external user, meaning someone without a Dalton State email account, you must have their personal email address. Set the date and time of the meeting. If the user has a Dalton State email account, you will be able to see if they are busy during the selected date and time by the highlight on their name. If the name is highlighted in red, the user will not be available during the time slot you have selected. You can also see the individual's availability from the Scheduling Assistant tab at the top. Optionally, you can include a team site as a channel, or specify a room as the location for the meeting. Finally, type the meeting details into the bottom text box and click Save in the upper right. Your meeting will then be scheduled, and the invitees will receive an email containing a link to the meeting. External invitees will be able to enter a name for themselves to use during the meeting before joining. You must accept them into the meeting at the designated time. Once in the meeting, you will have a number of options available to you as the organizer. If you click the ellipses next to the screen share button, you can record the meeting and make it available later, and you can turn on automated live closed captioning. Teams also offers an option to raise your hand while in a meeting. You can access chat and the call participants in the same way as a regular call, allowing you to send messages or invite new attendees while in a meeting. Similar to meetings, Teams also offers the ability to stream live to a larger audience. To stream live using Teams, click the arrow to the right of the New Meeting button, then choose Live Event. Enter a title, an optional location, the time and date, and any other details necessary. If you would like to invite presenters, you can do so to the right of the title field, Click Next, and then you will be able to select your audience. Choose People and Groups to specify a set number of individuals who can join the event. Click Org Wide if you would like to make the live event available to all users within Dalton State. Click Public if you would like to invite individuals who do not have Dalton State email addresses. Under How Will You Produce Your Event, you will see that you can offer your attendees automated closed captioning and the ability to record the event. Once you have confirmed all settings, you are ready to click Schedule at the bottom and your live event will be ready to go. Now that you have learned a variety of ways to use Microsoft Teams, you can also download Teams from the App Store or Google Play Store to iOS and Android devices. Simply search for Microsoft Teams on the Google Play Store on your Android device or the App Store on your iOS device, then install the app. Once installed, you will need to sign in using your Dalton State credentials. From the app, you can access your chats, meetings, and calls in a similar way to the desktop application. Please note that the app may be limited in comparison to the main desktop application. As you can see, Microsoft Teams is a very powerful tool, allowing users to remain connected with colleagues virtually. For further information or training on using Teams, please see the Help tab on the Teams desktop application or browser version. Microsoft provides a variety of training modules to make using Teams very easy. If you have any further questions or concerns about the use of Microsoft Teams, please do not hesitate to reach out to OCIS at servicedesk at daltonstate.edu or our number 706-712-8213. We will be happy to assist you with anything you may need.